I've got two things. I've got two kinds of news this morning. Some not so great news and some really good news. Okay, so let's start with the bad news. I'm not starting work today because the contract that they had lined up hasn't quite come through yet. Um, so I have to wait, which sucks. But the good news is VidCon has been announced. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so VidCon is going to be next year. It's going to be from the 23rd to the 25th of June. My birthday is the 22nd of June. So I'm going to be in America for my birthday, for my 25th birthday. So it's turned into a birthday trip. I'm so excited <laughs> because... Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted I wanted the, my VidCon to be close to my birthday. Not exactly on my birthday, but close to my birthday because I would have liked to be in Australia, to be with my family and my friends on my birthday. But, you know, I can celebrate a couple of days, a day before I leave, the weekend before I leave. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I'm so excited for VidCon. Now I can start doing things like paying for my flights and, you know, all that kind of stuff really, really soon. I'm not purchasing my ticket for VidCon until I have my flights and, like, all, everything is settled in my job. So I know that I'm keeping it and I know that I'm fully going to be able to go because, yeah, I want to make sure that that is 100% before I purchase my ticket my plane tickets and everything like that because obviously I'm flying from Australia to LA so um yeah it's a big thing um and it's costing a fair bit of money but that's okay because it's my first ever overseas trip so I'm super excited so yeah looks like Lily's going to be at VidCon 2016 as a birthday trip <laughs> I'm so excited Yay! The excitement is real. I wasn't expecting to find out about VidCon until December, like late December. <laughs> so to wake up to the email this morning and everyone like talking about VidCon and stuff, I'm like, yes, 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 <laughs> super excited. All right guys, so I am now waiting at the bus stop to go to town because, really? Really? Now that that's gone, um, to pay off a few things and maybe grab some food. So I brought everything that I need for cookies. I even bought some cookie cutters because I was like, hey, let's make some cool shapes like love hearts, stars, and circles. So I brought butter, that, that, and I was walking past this shop and this wallet caught my eye. And it was on sale. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just like oh, so in love. So I just had to buy it. <laughs> so now I've gone from this wallet to this wallet, which is epic. And I went and paid a whole heap of stuff. And yeah, now I think I'm going to make cookies and fold washing because that's a thing that needs to happen <laughs> and hang out some more washing. Yay for chores. Alright guys, cookies are in the oven and now it's time to clean up this mess. I'm going to leave a little bit of dough for my little brother so when he gets home he can make a giant cookie because I think he'll love that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm leaving some dough for him to make a giant cookie and I gotta clean up this mess now. Fun. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh! Ooh, we got a little bit. We got a little bit. We got a little bit of playing. Does anyone have any suggestions on a way that I could get him to enjoy toys more? Like, I've had him for two years, in three days, and I've not found one toy the whole time. I've tried soft toys, I've tried, I've never tried a toy like this, which is why I brought one. He and he doesn't like this. I've got teddy bear toys, which he kind of played with, but... You had to really rally, rally, like really row him up to, to do it. And I don't know. It just, he's still, he's still a puppy. Like he's three years old. He should still want to play. I just think that he was, he was never like exposed to toys before me. So I think that 
um, he doesn't know that he's allowed to play with toys and was told that he wasn't allowed to because the family who had him before me had children. So obviously they had toys, obviously he was telling him no. So I think that he's got scared of toys, if that makes sense, and that makes me really sad because I want him to play and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe he'll warm up to it, maybe. If you got, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions on how to help, let me know in the comments because it would be wonderful. These are done. The circle ones come out really good. The star ones come out pretty good too. But the love heart ones, not so much. They kind of turn around. I think next time I do them, I'll put a more, more of a, the dip of the love heart in to make them more love hearty shape because they kept the bottom shape, just not the top. So, yeah, they worked out pretty well. Those cookies turned out pretty good. They're not how I like them. I should have left them in there for as long as I did, but still, they're pretty good. I just really like mine gooier in the center. But anyway, nice catch, Lil. I like my cookies softer. But yeah, is I am digital, <laughs> digital food. I'm re designing this margarita pizza okay it's a cheap one from Coles as you can see they're normally $3.50 but I paid $2.45 for this pizza okay and these are big pizzas like they're like that big okay don't let him out don't let him out hold on a second guys okay <laughs> was going to have a little bit of a video figured it out on his own. Um, what I've done is I flaked everything off, so the cheese, and then I've added corn, but I've also added some pizza base um, to that to um, really tell them make yeah. it um, make it better. So that's how I've re-enhanced it, and then when it's done, I'm going to top it with some sour cream. Because we all know sour cream is the bomb. Dinner. Once upon a time. Yay. Guys, I'm going to end tonight's vlog here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.